Welcome friends. Today we are discussing about the Kujab law. Myself, Sham Gore from BSM College in Tur. So, when we are discussing about the Kujab law, there are the two types of the laws that is the Kujab law. The first one is the current law and the second one is voltage law so the kirchhoff's laws are the two types that is the current law and the voltage law so let us see the kirchhoff's current law this is the kirchhoff's current law in the short it can also be known as kcl kirchhoff's current law okay so what is the Kirchhoff's current law? Kirchhoff's current law states that the total current uh, entering a junction or a node is exactly equal to the charges or current leaving that junction. That is known as the Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, what is the Kirchhoff's current law? The current, total current or the charges entering a junction or node is exactly equal to the current or charges leaving from that node. This is the switch of current law. In other words, we can say that algebraic sum of currents entering and leaving the node must be equal to zero that is the switch of law okay suppose the current entering current plus leaving current the sum of these two currents is equal to zero this is ideal idea by kirchhoff's commonly known as conservation of charge okay this is the switch of current law now the algebraic sum of all currents entering and leaving a node or junction must equal to zero that is i entering and i leaving is equal to zero here let us see one example here this is the node or the junction where the number of paths are meet together that is known as the node here this is the first path or this is the first way this is the second path this is the third path this is the fourth path this is the fifth path in this way there are the five ways okay and all these ways or path meet at this point and this point is known as the node okay or the junction now here if you looking towards these three paths and here the current is flowing through all these branches or these are the branches this is the first branch second branch third branch fourth fifth branch and all branch comes together here okay and here the current flowing through this branch is the incoming current or entering current towards the junction this is also the incoming current current comes towards the junction here this is the this is also current coming towards the junction or the node i1 i2 i3 these are the incoming current okay and i4 is the leaving from that node or leaving from the junction similarly i5 is also going away from that junction or the node okay so the three currents are coming towards this junction and the two currents are going away from that junction okay so how may the current which is 
coming to this junction is equal to the current outgoing from that junction therefore according to the kirchhoff law we can say that the i1 i2 i3 is equal to i4 plus i5 or we can write the equation for all this current like this i1 plus i2 plus i3 the entering current or incoming current is taken as the positive and the current which is leaving from this junction or going away from the junction is taken as negative therefore i4 is negative i5 is negative and sum of all these currents i1 plus i2 plus i3 minus i4 minus i5 is equal to zero so this is the kirchhoff's current law here the term node is electrical circuit generally refers to the connection or junction of two or more current carrying paths or the element each such as a cable or component okay and here the sum of incoming current is equal to the sum of outgoing current okay how much is the incoming current that is equal to the outgoing current this is the kirchhoff's current law now let us see the another type of the law that is the kirchhoff voltage law and kirchhoff voltage law is also be known as the kvl and the kvl or kirchhoff voltage law states that the in any closed path this is the closed path if you looking towards this figure all these components are connected together and there is the no open end in this circuit so such types of the circuit is known as the closed loop or the closed path and in such a circuit in any closed loop network this is the network in any closed loop network the total voltage around the loop is equal to sum of all voltages drop within same loop okay the total voltage around loop is equal to sum of all the voltage drop within same loop that is known as the kirchhoff's voltage law or which is also be equal to the zero in other words we can say that the algebraic sum of all voltages within loop must be equal to zero this idea by kirchhoff's is known as the conservation of energy okay starting at a, any point in the loop continue in the same direction of all voltage drop either positive or negative and return back to the same point it is important to maintain the same direction in clockwise or anti clockwise or final voltage is sure will be equal to zero we can use the kirchhoff's voltage law when analyzing series circuit means we can say that the voltage drop across this resistance voltage drop across this resistance voltage drop across this resistance voltage drop across this this resistance voltage drop across the all resistances equal to zero suppose the voltage from a to b is equal to vab voltage from b to c is equal to vbc voltage from c to d is equal to vcd and voltage from d to a is equal to vda and if we sum all these voltages or when we add all these voltages and sum of these voltages is equal to zero this is the which of voltage law okay now let us see sign convention when we are going from one place to the another place 
okay so let us see the sign convention a rise or increase in voltage would be considered as positive when voltage is increases when we are going from negative to the positive which can be considered as the positive that is known as the increasing voltage okay a fall or decrease in voltage would be considered as negative this is pos not positive negative fall or decrease in voltage consider as negative sign not positive okay decrease in voltage means when we are going from positive to negative that is known as the or for that purpose we are taking the negative sign let us see how to apply these conditions in this circuit now when we are moving from point a to b b to c c to d d to a here this is one resistance okay this is another resistance this is the battery okay this is one resistance this is the another battery this is also another resistance for the battery or emf which sign we have to take if we go from negative terminal of battery to positive terminal there is a rise in potential hence the emf should be given as a positive sign when we are going from the negative to the positive here this is the negative this is the positive when we are moving from d to a means from negative to the positive then the emf or the voltage of this battery is taken as positive if you are go from positive to the negative terminal of battery then that is the fall in potential hence the emf should be given as negative sign when we are going from positive terminal to the negative terminal here this is the fall in position when we are going from c to d in this way in this direction when we are going then the sign for this voltage is taken as negative because there is fall in potential from positive to the negative in this way for the battery if you are going from negative terminal to the positive terminal that is the rise in potential which is taken as positive sign when we are going from positive to the negative terminal then that is the fall in potential then it should be given the negative sign okay now let us determine the algebraic sign for the voltage drop that is the ir drop on resistor this is the re resistance and there will be the some voltage drop across this resistance and that voltage drop v is equal to ir that is the ir drop ir means the voltage voltage drop on resistance if we go through resistance in the same direction as its current direction then there is fall or decrease in potential and this ir drop should be taken as negative if we go in the direction opposition opposite to the current there is rise in voltage hence the ir means the voltage drop should be taken as positive when we are going from the positive to the negative actually the direction of current is in which direction current is flow the current is flow from positive to negative okay and when we go in the same direction that is from positive to the negative then the voltage drop is taken as negative same like as the emf when we go from negative terminal to the positive terminal then the ir drop should be taken as positive now consider this loop a b c d a and here when we are go from 
the A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. This is the clockwise direction. Hence, in this circuit, let us see how much, how what is the IR drop. Here, this is the current going through this resistance R1. Therefore, I1 into R1 is taken as negative because there is a fall in potential. Okay. Here we are going from positive to the negative. There is fall in potential. Therefore, that will be taken as negative. From B to C. Okay. When we are going from B to C, here this is the resistance and current flowing through this resistance is equal to I2. And we are going from negative to the positive terminal. Okay. Then it should be taken as positive because here we are going from negative terminal to the positive terminal. There is a rise in potential. Now, when we go from C to D, there is one source that is the E2. And here we are going from positive terminal to the negative terminal. Therefore, there is a decrease in potential. Okay. Therefore, it should be taken as negative. E2 is negative. That is the fall in potential. When we are going from this C to D, there is one resistance and the current flowing through this resistance is I3 and value of this resistance is R3. Therefore, I3, R3 should be taken as positive. Because we are going from negative terminal. Okay. And this is the E1. E1. Here we are going from negative terminal to the positive terminal. There is rise in potential. Therefore, it should be taken as positive. Now, from this resistance, when we are going from D to A, this voltage, that is the IR drop is equal to negative because there is a fall in potential. And hence, according to the Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's law says that the sum of all currents is equal to the zero. Okay. Therefore, let us add these voltages. That is the minus I1, R1. Here, this is the minus R1, R1 plus I2, R2. This is the I2, R2 minus E2 plus I3, R3, I3, R3 plus E1. This is the E1 minus I4, R4. And sum of all these voltages is equal to the zero. Actually, IR means the voltage and this is the voltage. So this equation can be written as I1, R1 plus I2, R2 plus I3, R3 minus I4, R4 is equal to E1 minus E2. Okay. Or this can also be written as I2 R2 minus I1 R1 minus I3 R3 minus I4 R4 is equal to E1 minus E2. So this is the Kirchhoff's voltage law. In this way, in this session, we see that Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.